This audio production was made in collaboration with Audible Anarchist. At the risk of saying something which the editors of Tribune may not endorse, I suggest that the real objective of socialism is not happiness. Happiness hitherto has been a byproduct, and for all we know it may always remain so. The real objective of socialism is human brotherhood. This is widely felt to be the case, though it is not usually said or not said loudly enough. Men use up their lives in heartbreaking political struggles, or get themselves killed in civil wars, or tortured in the secret prisons of the Gestapo, not in order to establish some central heated, air-conditioned, strip-lighted paradise, but because they want a world in which human beings love one another instead of swindling and murdering one another. And they want that world as a first step. Where they go from there is not so certain, and the attempt to foresee it in detail merely confuses the issue. Socialist thought has to deal in prediction, but only in broad terms. One often has to aim at objectives which one can only very dimly see. At this moment, for instance, the world is at war and wants peace. Yet the world has no experience of peace, and never has had, unless the noble savage once existed. The world wants something which it is very dimly aware could exist, but which it cannot accurately define. This Christmas Day, thousands of men will be bleeding to death in the Russian snows, or drowning in icy waters, or blowing one another to pieces with hand grenades on swampy islands of the Pacific. Homeless children will be scrabbling for food among the wreckage of German cities. To make that kind of thing impossible is a good objective. But to say in detail what a peaceful world would be like is a different matter, and to attempt to do so is apt to lead to the horrors so enthusiastically presented by Gerald Hurd. This has been a production of Audible Anarchist. You can find more Audible Anarchist on YouTube.